Welcome back to the Big R Show, the sports program. As you know that um, every Tuesday morning, we look what happened over the weekend. And then um, every Saturday morning, also look what happened during the week and also give you the, uh, the upcoming games. My name is the Sobre Boys, Wale Fatsi. I'm with Jake's, Jake, Jake, Jacob Silematsil. Um, Jake, Jake, can you greet the viewers? Hi, good evening to all the viewers out there. I would like to say, Dumelanga uh, Ofela, and Lady Colleague Stag, and all the panel members, Galdumelisa, Kaufela Lum. Okay. Um, I also have Tsepang. Yeah, I also have Tsepang. Tsepang, you know, he's always with us here. He's a young man. We are grooming, um, you know, and then um, you'll grow. One day we'll be watching him. Uh, you'll be the one who'll be hosting. Uh, Bafanas, how are you doing? No, evening, evening um, to the viewers and uh, my fellow colleagues. All right, uh, gentlemen, uh, today's question. We saw an article in the South African Press Association, SAPA, um, written by Richard Robinson, uh, alleging that um, the former Kaiser chief player by the name of uh, Robson Muchichwa is blaming whatever that is happening at Kaiser Chief at the doorstep of uh, Bobby Mutawun. And he went further to say, he's wondering that uh, Mr. Mutawun, since Bobby is his son, why doesn't he reign him? He said uh, during the time, that's Robson Muchicho this time, during his time while he was still playing, there were rambles and mumbling, mumbling um, in the camp that uh, people were not happy with uh, Bobby Mutaun. And they were saying even Mr. Mkaiza Mutaun was a little bit concerned about the role and the influence that Bobby Mutaun has on the team. But now we are not sure about that. Uh, we tried our best to see whether can we get Robson um, Chichwa, and then we could not win. We also tried to get the, the, the journalist who wrote the article, uh, but unfortunately we could not succeed. So now the question for tonight, do you agree with Robson Muchichwa that the blame should be placed squarely on Bobby Mutaun and partly Mr. Mutaun? If you agree just say yes. If you disagree, say no. So we want to know who are the people who agree, who are the people who disagree. That's our question for the local football. And then uh, we'll also do the part two, which is the national, uh, international football. We know that uh, last night, Lionel Messi was uh, given a red card for violent act. Now there is a talk that um, there is a possibility that he will be banned for 12 games. So the question is, do you agree that uh, Lionel Messi should be banned for 12 games? Or what's your take? You'll simply yes, yes or no. But now it's local football. But we, before we go any further, I'm going to give it to Jake's and Twentle, Silimatse to give us the results over the weekend. James. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, my brothers. Um, I've got the games that started on the, on the 16th of January, our PSL. A few games, I'm, I'm going to start on the 16th and the 17th. We've got Golden Arrows that played against Shakuma. Golden Arrows won that game 1-0. Another game, uh, it was between Super Sport United and Mamlodi Sundowns, it was a derby. For me, it, this game was boring. It lacked that particular spark. And the game ended at 0-0 draw. 
We've got also Gal- uh, TS Galaxy that was playing against Chipper United. Guess what? Galaxy lost this, this game 1-0 to Chipper United. Um, we've got also Bloemfontein Celtic that played against the Stellenbosch FC and the score ended 1-1 draw. And then another game, it was Cape Town City uh, playing against Amakosi, Kaiser Chiefs. Abuila Amakosi. Amakosi won that game 2-1. And we've got also Barroca that played against the uh, Swallows. Is new and is new as Bob Wow. Swallows is continuing the good game that they are, they're showing, the good form, and they, they won that game 1-0. And it was an away game for them. That is ex- excellent. Uh, gentlemen, I've I, I got a very big surprise. I was also surprised yesterday. I watched a, a game between Black Leopards playing against Orlando Pirates. What a, what a game that was shown by Black Leopards. Technically right. spot on. I'll come, I'll come back to that one now uh, before we, we comment. But uh, I want to say, Mr. Mkonza, uh, Mr. Mkonza Stumo, who's one of our colleague, unfortunately could not join us uh, tonight because he indicated that um, um, he lost a family member due to COVID. So now they are busy doing those arrangements. And the other thing I want to say, heads up to Mr. Mkonza. He predicted that Sundowns and Supersport will play 0-0 and definitely was spot on. So heads up to Mr. Mkonza. So yeah, no, he deserve, yeah. So now, um, Jackie, you can talk about uh, uh, Black Leopards and Orlando Pirates. And then while you're still there, I spoke to the chief executive officer of Black Leopards this afternoon to see whether can we get uh, somebody whom we can talk to. So apparently they are still uh, sorting out the technicalities in terms of who communicates the information of the team out there. So let's give them space uh, to sort out that. So as soon as that has been sorted out and then probably they could have given us somebody to, 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 to tell us what happened and how do they feel. And I can tell you this was a very good present for uh, Mr. David Tidiela who has just lost his wife. May his soul rest in peace. So I hope uh, the boys who are playing for Black Leopards, they will repay or console Mr. Tidiela by making sure that Black Leopards climb the ladder of the league. Jackie? Thank you very much, my brother. Yeah, I was talking about the game that played yesterday between Black Leopards and Orlando Pirates. Black Leopards scored two goals, zero to Orlando Pirates. It was like you were not watching Orlando Paris playing against Black Leopards. Well, we'll come back to that later on. And we've got another important game, which was also a derby between Amazulu against um, Marisbeck United. Wow, what a game. The score ended up at 0-0. So it was a, a sweet draw. I would say it like that. <laughs> mm. It was a sweet draw. And then in a nutshell, those are the results. And then quickly, I'm going to come up with the fixtures so that we can know exactly what is happening. I will, I will start with the, the date of the 19th. 19th is tomorrow. We've got two games that are playing tomorrow. Mami Lady Sundowns at 5 o'clock will be playing against the Bloemfontein Celtic. That's another big game that we'll be playing tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Kaiser Chiefs Amakosi will be playing against the Chakuma Chamazivandela at 5 o'clock as well. It will be a home game for Kaiser Chiefs and a home game for Sundowns. Then on the 20th, we've got uh, more games that are playing. Super Sport United will be playing against Amazulu. That will be a humdinger indeed. Bradley Krobler is in top form. Amazulu as well, they're playing good football. Then we've got Black Leopards still in form, playing against Cape Town City as well. And Stellenbosch will be playing against Barroca. As Barroca Salus will be playing against Chipper United. That will be a humdinger. It will be here in Johannesburg, in, 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 in uh, the Plouffe. 
Mm. And then we've got also Orlando Pirates, as Gama Kepula, will be playing at Golden Arrows. That should be another big game to watch. And then we've got also another game between Marisbeck United that will be playing against Galaxy United. So the Gal- TS Galaxy. <laughs> and then I'll quickly run to the 2023rd. We've got another feature as well. Mamelodi Sundowns will be playing against Swallows. That will be a big game. I wanted to talk about that. That will be another big game we will we'll be looking at. Mm. Black Leopards on the 23rd as well. We'll be playing against uh, Chipper United. Stellenbosch FC will be welcoming Kaiser Chiefs in Cape Town. Marisbeck United will be playing against uh, Mabagania, Orlando Pirates. That will be the fight of the, the German, the German, the, the, the German tanks. They will be fighting against one another. Mm. Barroca will be playing against Amazul as well, mm. uh, up to the 23rd. Okay. More of them will talk about them at a later stage, it's fine. All right. Then the Morocco Swallows, the one that, I mean, the game that you wanted to talk about for next week, we'll talk about it on Saturday morning. But now I want you to talk about Orlando Pirates and Black Leopards, because we wanted to talk about that one before we jump to our topic for the day. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. If, you, if you've watched the game of yesterday, I, I, I couldn't believe that uh, I, I'm watching Orlando Pirates. I think tactically, uh, Black Leopards were superior to Orlando Pirates. For the very first time, I, I couldn't believe it. If you, if you watch how Black Leopards played, they were holding the ball within their half, and then from there, they attack Orlando Pirates. Whenever they attack Orlando Pirates, they they will work as a team. They will go, they will attack as a team, and when, whenever they're coming back, they're coming back as a team. So if you look at the, 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 the defense of Orlando Pirates, it was not clicking. I'm talking about the captain himself. I mean, you cannot play uh, Sajuayo and Epichele. Those are the same people. So you, it's one and the same person. You cannot play both of them at once in one team. And then with Maela as well, I don't know what is basically happening, but the body language gave me something. It tells me that something is not right here. The coach himself, I don't think that he got it right tactically yesterday. And he is now feeling the pressure. The Paganias, they want delivery. Somebody commented, a staunch Orlando Pirates uh, a member, he said, Orlando Pirates could not beat a team that <coughs> went to have, to have to to NFD and came back, they couldn't beat that team with all the players that they've got. If you look at the attacking, the flair, in terms of Orlando Pirates, they were not there yesterday. It was a different team altogether. So, but I'm hopeful and I wish that that kind of a team that I know, the Orlando Pirates... Mm, mm. Um, you, 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 have, you have freezed, I don't know what happened. And then uh, Tsepang, I wonder whether did you watch that game, Orlando Pirates and Black Leopards? And let me hear your 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 take. Uh, what's your take on that game? No, it was a very interesting game. Um, I could say Black Leopards, yes, there was a better team mm-hmm. amongst the two teams. Mm-hmm. And Orlando Pirates, to be honest, they didn't come to the party. Mm. It was a different Orlando Pirates that played mm. over the weekend. Technically, they are not structured. They are not organized. They were just all over the place, to be honest. Even the structure and I could say posi- the positioning of players also. It was just all over the place. I don't think they, 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 they planned it well in terms of their structure because, yeah, they basically there was no structure in the team and you could tell by a team like they could try everything. They could throw in even the right players, but they just didn't get it right at the end of the day. And for a team to actually win 2 0 without them even scoring a goal, then it says a lot. It shows that there was a problem on the day and clearly nothing didn't work out for them. So I think it's just something that they just need to fix. That's the problem about Orlando Pirates is they're not consistent. They can be consistent for two games and then the next game they fall off. So consistency is just a problem lately uh, within the team that they need to fix uh, as, uh, as soon as possible. So yeah, that's my take about it. Jackie, I see that you're back. 
you want to add something? Thank you, my brother. Sepang, I definitely agree with you, my brother. You and I were talking the same language. Definitely, we were watching a different Orlando Pirates. But you know what, guys? These things, they do happen in football. Let's hope that uh, Orlando Pirates will improve and then play better in the next game. But it's going to be tough. It's not going to be easy. Eh? It's mm. going to be tough because remember that they're going to, they're going to be facing uh, Bloomfontein Celtic. So, and it's, 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 it's coming. It's coming. But you know what, guys? Mm. All I'm happy about is that we are watching good football and looked at the standard in terms of broadcasting. Our own standard in terms of broadcasting, if you compare that to the Italian standard, we are far superior than those, those guys. The, the, you know what? The, the, the background, the background crowd that, that, we've, that we've created, it's working very well. It's making these games to be very much interesting. But if you look at the Italian league, mm -hmm. I really, I was not happy to watch that game between Inter and Juventus yesterday. Mm -hmm. It was boring for me. Mm -hmm. However, Gentlemen, uh, I'll, 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 I'll leave it here for now so that we can be able to continue. All right. uh, Mr. Chabala, I'll give that to you back. Yeah. Um, sure. Just sort out that sound. It keeps on breaking. I don't know what is the problem. Um, I, I still want to go back and say, I, I, I'm going to ask this question all the time. Are we going to see yes. the Leicester City scenario coming back to South Africa. <laughs> I'm referring to Morocco Swallows. I'll keep on I'll keep on reminding you this. Hey. You're going to see a, a team from hey. uh, Gladiator Africa <clears throat> winning the Gladiator, going to the Premier League uh, PSL and winning the championship. That's the question. But having said that, guys, how about Kaiser Chiefs? Kaiser Chiefs, they out done themselves. Um, now they've won two games in succession, uh, which which now occurs well. So I want to hear your comments as far as that is concerned. Remember, we still want to go back to our question. Do you agree with Robson Muchichwa? Yes. That yes. whatever that is happening at Kaiser Chiefs, the lean spell, it should be blamed squarely on the door of Bobby Mutau. And partly, Mr. Kaiser Mtau. Why I say partly Mr. Kaiser Mtau, I think Robson is saying, Mr. Kaiser Mtau, he knows his son, he must reign his son. So um, I want you as viewers out there to say yes, you agree with that statement or no, you don't agree. Just leave those comments, yes or no, yes or no. Then we'll see how many who have agreed, how many who have not disagreed. And like I indicated, this is the Big R Solution Sports Program. And then uh, just subscribe and like and make comment um, so that um, we can grow um, as a community. Um, Jake, I want us guys to talk about Kaiser Chiefs. Just a bit, not too much, so that we move to our question. Jackie or oh, Tepang, let me start. Uh, let, let me uh, start with Tepang. Before coming to Kaiser Chiefs, quickly. Let me start with Tepang. Tepang? Okay. Uh, Jackie, I think you need to sort, sort your sound there. Maybe you need to go out and come back. And then Tepang, uh, in the meantime, just tell us what you think about it. Oh, uh, I've got uh, one thing to say, basically. It's going to sum up. Oh, you go to Tepa. Um, yeah? Um, uh, in, the, in, in the premiership. Yeah? No, Jackie, you are breaking. That's my problem. So that is why I say, while I'm still talking to Tepa, uh, sort your connection that side. Uh, because you are breaking and then uh, you are freezing, you are coming back. So let me allow Tsepang to talk while they are sorting out. Tsepang? Okay. Um, I've just got one thing to say, basically, yeah. about Kaiser Chiefs. Um, to summarize the performance on the day, if they can play the way they were playing in the first 20 minutes, 
I think they'll go far because they had a good 20 minutes and they scored two brilliant, actually, illegals. Mm. So if they keep up that 20 minutes performance <coughs> the whole season, mm. I think we'll be talking about a different case achieves in the next maybe five to six games going forward in the league. Uh, the problem was with them, they stopped playing after 20 minutes. So the remaining uh, uh, the remaining 70 minutes of the game, actually, yes, the remaining 70 minutes of the game was a problem for them because they stopped playing, to be honest. They really stopped playing and Cape Town was at them. So if they can fix that, the last 70 minutes of their game, and continue the form that they had within the first 20 minutes of the game so that now they need to bring on that whole performance within the next minutes of the game. And I think we'll be talking about a different kind of achievement in the next coming uh, games. So it was actually a good start. We've never seen kind of achievements play like that in the, any uh, uh, first or last 20 minutes of the game within the, within the league games this season. So we need that performance, actually. Okay. That first 20 minutes that they gave us within the game, I think that's what we need for. So, yeah, that's my okay. take. I've got the crux. The 20 minutes was the best. Jackie, uh, I hope now you are back. You'll be able to take... Just a look at... Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Jackie? Tau? Yeah, come in, come in. Can come you hear in. me now? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah. Yeah, what I wanted to say, I just wanted to highlight the some a few results from the Premier English Premier League. No, no, uh, the league, game started uh, on the Kaiser Chiefs. No, uh, Premier League will talk when you talk internet. No. Oh yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, with with Kaiser Chiefs. I agree with the with the with with Sepang. The first twenty minutes, really, they gave us something that I I, I, I couldn't believe it as well. Mm. They did very well. I think the strategically, the coach, he because there's some way he commented that he just told them that let's we we are leading two zero, then now we have to defend. I think that was very all right. Um, we seem to be having problems, Jackie. Uh, Jackie, um, d- d- don't worry. You know what I'm, I'm, I'm suggesting? Disconnect and come back, right? Jackie, disconnect and come back. I don't think he hears me. Sepang, let's go to the question. Um, having here what they say about um, um, uh, problems that are happening at Kaiser Chiefs and then Robson Chicha is blaming uh, Bobby Mutaung to say he's the one who's causing problem at Chiefs. What's your take? No, remember, uh, I think you are not uh, closer to the scene, but at yes, yes, yes. you look, that is why it was good for us. It could have been nice if we had Robson and hear from him. And remember, this is the guy who former played for Kaiser Chiefs. So he may know one or two things that we don't know. And then uh, all the journalists. So we could not get either of the two. So what's your take? You at a distance, what's your take? No, I, mean, I think it's, 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 it's quite simple for us as viewers. I could say, let me just use the word viewers from us sitting at home um what we see basically um i, I could say we, we, we are we are people that know a lot about football we've got a lot of knowledge about football we don't just watch football but even we even make sure that we do our research within these teams and what's going on within the club the camp and technical team and everything and so forth so um the problem starts with it's the structure, yes. I, I believe he's to blame. This is my opinion. Because um, he's the one who could say uh, he takes the final decisions in a sense of which players are to be brought in and which players are to be uh, are taken out of the club. Mm-hmm. So, for instance, if Mamilodi Sundowns can invest 
in buying quality players, they've done that. Let me just say for the past decade, but uh, it's it, look at look at them now. It's paying off for them right now with those certain players. And then, why can't Kaiser Chiefs do the same? I mean, like we as fans, we also demand. We also play a huge role in clubs because we 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 we. we, we we can change any decision that happens within the club. We can tell the management that these are the type of players we'd want to see at Kaiser Chiefs. Mm. These are the type of players we want to see you sign as a club. Mm. So if you fail to do that and you sign players that you think they would benefit the team, but they don't do that within the first or second season, then it's a problem. Mm. So then you keep on doing the same route. You keep on going the same route, uh, signing the same type of players, and then we still have the same type of problems. Then it's a problem. So you, 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 Stepan. Yes. I don't think <clears throat> I, I agree entirely with you. Uh, we saw Kaiser Chiefs signing um, um, Kamabiela from Kaiser Chiefs from Sundowns. All right. Yes. We saw Kaiser Chiefs signing Mpatele from Sundowns. All right. You see, so um, I don't think it's it's fair to say uh, he doesn't sign quality players. He has done that. That is why I'm saying he has signed people like Kama Billiard, who is a quality player, and Pachela, you know. So they do, they do. So it's not a question that um, they don't sign. Uh, players. They do sign just like Sundowns uh, sign. So I don't know. That, that, that's my take. All right. And then um, Jackie, you're back. Jackie? Yes, though. Uh, now we can hear you. We can hear yes, you. Yes, though. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you now. Um, really, I'm yeah. sorry, guys. The network is very poor this Saturday. No, that's fine. No problem. We'll struggle until we get it right. Now, we are talking about the yeah. question that we ask. Uh, do you really think that uh, Robson Chicha is correct by saying Bobby Mutown is to blame and partly Mr. Mkaiser Mutown should be blamed uh, for what is happening at Kaiser Chiefs? Um, so what's your take? You know, Tsepang has given own thought that uh, because he's the one who signs players, he doesn't see Sundowns, uh, Kaiser Chiefs signing quality players, but I was countering and say we have seen Chiefs signing Kamabila from Sundowns, we have seen Chiefs signing Mpatela from Sundowns. So, um, you know, if it was one-way traffic, only Sundowns signed from Chiefs, would say Chiefs is there to compete. So it shows that they are competing because they also signed from Sundowns. But uh, what's your take? But viewers out there, if you agree, just say yes. If you don't agree, say no. Then we'll see how many those, and then when we do our next show, we'll give you the results of those who say no and those who say no. What's your take? What's your take, Jackie, as somebody who's at the distance, as an observer? What do you think? Do you really think Bobby Down should be blamed? My, my comment on that, I'm saying no. We should not blame Bobby Mutaung alone. Remember that Bobby Mutaung is not signing players alone. He's got a team that he's reporting to. He's got a board. He's got a board of directors that he's reporting to. That particular board is chaired by uh, Mr. Uh, Kaiser Mutaung Sr. Mm. So, it, I mean, the team, including Bobby himself, we've seen in, in so many years uh, signing good players, quality players. Mm. I'm talking your, your Mbesumas. All those kind of players, we shouldn't say just because now we're not performing accordingly, and then we come and blame somebody. Uh, we come and blame. Bobby Mutaung has got no power to sign players alone. Everybody is included, including uh, the chairman himself. There is a board that is approving all the players. And remember, most of the coaches, they are the ones who are choosing players. They are the, even right now. Bobby Mutaung con uh, 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 commented last week that Mr. Gavin Hunt is so lucky because he came at the right time. At the moment, he's got so much time to be able to identify players that he wants. 
all that they will do, they will be able to purchase those players according to whatever that he has chosen. So blaming Mr. Kaiser Mtawum or Mr. Bobby Mtawum, it, it will never serve any purpose because at the end of the day, when you sign players, you never know whether this player will perform or not. Look at Kambule. When they signed Kambule, Kambule was showing quality. He was scoring goals left and right everywhere, especially in Africa. But now he came to Kaiser Chiefs. There are so many things or, I mean, factors that are having that particular impact. For an example, the brand itself, I, as Kaiser Chiefs, it's a big team. The number of supporters that we have, it's totally different. When you don that particular uh, uh, jersey of Kaiser Chiefs, it's something different. So I definitely don't agree with the fact that people are saying we should blame uh, Mr. Mutaung, especially somebody who's a former player like uh, Robson Muchichwa. Robson Muchichwa, if really he was having those, I mean, he was saying those kind, kind of sentiments while he was still at Kaiser Chiefs, he was, then I, I would say he's so brave, but he didn't show that braveness while he was p- playing for Kaiser Chiefs. He played there for so many years. If you're not happy with something, with a team, why are you not leaving the team? He didn't leave the team. He stayed in the team for so many years until his contract expired. So I, I, I'm feeling that it's sour grapes what he's, what he's saying right now. He, 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 doesn't, he doesn't represent the, the, the brand very well. Definitely not. Is it? That's my, that, are, you, that, that's my. are you are you just becoming a denialist because you're a Kaiser Chiefs fan? Remember, <laughs> Robson played at Kaiser Chiefs, and his argument is very simple. Yeah. He says, while I was there, you know, I could hear even Kaiser Mtaun complaining, Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. He even said, I don't blame Bobby alone. I also blame Mr. Mtaun. He should reign his son. And the argument of saying he should have if you have said it while you are still there, I don't think it's fair. How do you say to somebody who's feeding you? You cannot bite a hand that feeds you. And of course, you could have been fired. Anything could have happened. So I don't think that's fair enough. And look, he, he, he says he's still a Kaiser Chiefs supporter. And then he's feeling bad that this is how they perform. And this is how he's, he does his analysis. I'm not saying he's correct. He says his analysis, he thinks that Bob is a problem and Mr. Kaiser Mtaung is to blame too because he doesn't reign him because he even went further to say Bobby is the son to Mr. Kaiser Mtaung. He must reign him. So um, um, I'm, not say, I'm not saying it's correct or wrong, but I'm just giving you all sides. You see? I hear you, my brother, and I agree with you. Yeah. Right now, you are the father of Frank Casino. Yeah. Frank Casino, Frank Casino is a is a big star. Mm. That whatever that Frank Casino is doing right now, mm. you are managing him. And then if there's a problem, it's your task to be able to manage him. And remember, mm. uh, Kaza Chiefs has got a board. Bobby Mutaum is not reporting to anybody. He's reporting to the board and the, chair, the, the chairman of the team. So mm. coming out and saying those kind of sentiments, I, I don't think really... I mean, how many years did he, did he work for Kaiser Chiefs? He left Kaiser Chiefs plus minus 10 years ago or, or more than that. So things are changing. Things have changed in so many ways. By then, things were done differently as compared to now. Kaiser Chiefs is one of the teams that is so professional when it comes to administration. Really, really, I'm still saying whatever that he's saying, that's his own perception. We, we might differ with him, but I've got my own perception as well. But his perception, I don't think it carries much water. For me, it sounds like... Uh, 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 <laughs> sour grapes. No, let me not put sour, this way. Sour grapes. He, sour grapes. He, he, yeah, well, I, I thought maybe if I say it like that, it might sound I'm also having those sour grapes, you know. No, no, <laughs> I don't want put that. It this way. I'm saying <laughs> you probably can be a denialist because you are a cheese fan, you know, and then <laughs> the, the emotions comes in. Uh, I'm not saying that's true, eh, what Robson has said, but he was closer. I to understand. The and he I understand. The... That's why I'm saying. You see. That's why I'm saying to you, Tao. Yeah. That's why I'm saying. I think I will. I will treat it as a, a, a comment, a, a, a personal comment from him, yeah. and that is his own perception, and I will respect that. 
I will respect that. But knowing Kaiser Chiefs, mm. the way they are doing things, mm. Bobby is not alone. Mm. Bobby is reporting to a team yeah. of board of directors. Yes. Bobby doesn't have any powers yes. alone. Yes. Other people are, are approving that. Yes. Whenever Chiefs signs a new player, yes. there must be a board that will be able to approve that. Yes. You see. So and blaming one person or blaming Kaiser Chiefs, yeah. you know what? Guarantee that when you sign a player, if I sign you, if I sign you right now, uh, Mr. Daum, mm. I mean, it's not guaranteed that you're going to score goals or mm. you're going to deliver goals exactly. or anything like that. Exactly. This is football. Yeah. You, but you, remember, you, you, you sign according to the requirements of the team. Then not... Yeah, but remember, you know Kaiser Chiefs from a distance. Yes, no? you, you know Kaiser Chiefs from a distance. He was there. He was in there. Yes. All right. But now let us not uh, uh, take it Absolutely, further. absolutely. Yeah, and then uh, I want to say, continue to vote, yes or no. Do you think Bob is to blame? Partly Mr. Mtaung. Uh, if you agree, just say yes. If you don't agree, say no. Guys, thank you very much. Let's move on to the next section, which is the international uh, games. And then- uh, this is part one, then we are going to do part two.